Okay, let's move on now to home automation by train. Can somebody tell me why you would really want your air conditioner to talk to your door? No, I don't think the air conditioner talks to the door. It's basically door access systems and air conditioners that are intelligent. Would you spend about eight to ten thousand rupees on an AC that was intelligent enough to know how many people in a room? You know, I spend a lot on nobody. intelligence in other areas. I'd love to have intelligent co-anchors, intelligent See, gates. I know that's you, really I know important. You, I know you do other an shows. intelligent, an intelligent air conditioner. It's nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying, I mean, I you, know, you do so many other shows, thus you miss me in those as a co-anchor. I know what you mean. Intelligence is you know, something we all want. So these are doors and air conditioners which are very intelligent, kind of work on their own. You never have to know when to switch to what. I have a feeling there's a lot more that you could do with any home appliance that has intelligence built in, that can actually talk to other areas including sensors, sensors and others, and you can control it from wherever you are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's my job to be skeptical. Here's a look at this. <laughs> Okay, so by now you're obviously aware that what we are about to showcase you are two segments from the world of technology that have been more or less ignored up until now. The digital door lock and of course the air conditioning. And when I say ignored, just think about it. In last one decade, what is that major breakthrough that you've seen in both these segments? Well, nothing major that I can think of. And I'll tell you what, that is about to change because both of them are about to get more interactive and of course, talk to each other. Yes, that's right, because we are moving towards the next generation of both these technologies. Starting first with the electronic door lock that quite literally interacts with your air conditioning unit. While the away mode on the lock switches off all the interactive air conditioners, freeing you from effort of checking and switching off, the home mode on the lock works exactly opposite by switching on all the ACs when you come back home. While the digital door lock is auto-locked and supported by a non-duplicable electronic key, but in case the situation demands frequent opening and closing of the doors, the door can be switched to passage mode. Now the fourth feature in this interactive door lock is this night latch feature out here, which means that once you switch it on, what it does is it restricts entry even for people who have the key. So in the middle of the night, you don't want anybody coming in. All you have to do is just switch on the night latch. While it obviously ensures that nobody comes in, what it doesn't is people walking out. Because at no given point, you can lock the door from inside. So if you have a maid or let's say a servant working in the house, the exit is as easy as this. Now the whole purpose of introducing this was an anti-panic situation. But for me, I think it's also a huge security situation on your hand because getting out is as easy as this. But for what it's worth, the night latch function can also be activated via the interactive remote, which is also the nerve center of the system. The remote does not need line of sight to operate, so you can operate your ACs even with your back to it. The fact is that this particular device can actually interact with 18 devices in your house and I'll show you how. All I need to do is switch the room and suddenly the air conditioner in my master bedroom is on my fingertips. The remote also gives critical information including the efficiency meter providing you with a visual aid to set the right temperature and optimize energy consumption. The system also boasts a weather sync mode to ensure that even the slightest change in the weather adjusts the temperature inside to give the optimum energy efficiency and comfort. But with nearly 24,500 rupees for the lock and the air conditioning units ranging from 37,000 rupees to 66,000 rupees, it's definitely a premium markup to pay for tech luxury.